wait. And now at five, we are tracking the remnants of Elsa. Yes, I said remnants. We can finally let go of the storm, making headlines for more than a week. What's left of the storm is moving quickly through New England after leaving behind a patch of wind damage and flooding and some strange scenes, Carly, in New York City. I know, Flooded the subways. subway. I, I don't <laughs> think I need to go anywhere that badly, that's no. for sure. And for a look at our forecast here at home, let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Yeah, we don't really like to look back except when there is a tropical system moving away from us. So let's go back to Tuesday. This was Tuesday at 5 o'clock when Elsa was just approaching the Tampa Bay area. And we thought we were hoping good things for the Tampa Bay area, but we were a little worried. And then Elsa that evening just psh, fell apart and then uh, had a hard time recovering. But it had has been a big, big rainmaker, a prolific rainmaker all along its track. There's Thursday, there's Friday, and here we are this evening. And Elsa now, just kind of a big blob of rain, a low pressure area, but it's lost its tropical characteristics, so we can say so long to Elsa. The E name, which was a record this year, getting there away above uh, normal very, very early, is done. 